What's up everybody, Sam Smyers here. Today I wanna to show you to make Tech House or Deep House style lasers, and I'm gonna be making these sounds in Serum. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, please subscribe. And also, if you do enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a like. The laser sound is created from having a noise go from a high pitch to a low pitch really quickly, or a high frequency to a low frequency really quickly. So let me show you how to do this in Serum. So I can just start with the basic wavetable default. And what I'm gonna do is adjust my LFO1. So I'm gonna drag this over here. So then we have this go from a high to a low. And basically if I assign this alpha one to the coarse tuning on my oscillator A, then we'll start to get that laser sound. And right now the rate is at one fourth. So I could turn it onto envelope. So then if I just hit a key on my keyboard, it only happens once. I generally like to have it where you hit a key and then it just starts repeating. So I'm gonna put on trigger and then we can adjust the rate and play around with the rate like that. So I can also adjust the actual course tuning so I can change the modulation. I can hit shift and option and make it go from the right to left. So that means high to low, or I can make it go from low to high. So I'm gonna just do, let's say high to low here. Let's say it like that. So I can also go to my alpha one and adjust the shape here. So usually something like this works pretty well. So I have the default wavetable. I could go into basic shapes, change the wavetable. Here we have a sine wave. I could do a saw wave or even a square wave. and get some different sounds of that laser. I could change my unison, so maybe take that up. But I'll just leave it on one for now. Let's raise up this level. I could go to my envelope two and do some cool things with my envelope two. So I could adjust it a bit like this and maybe assign my envelope two to the course tuning and then hit shift and option and go from left to right. And now you can hear that the pitch of the laser goes down and I could do from right to left. And then you can hear the pitch of the laser goes up. So that's a pretty cool thing I can do. So let's go ahead and do, let's say left to right. And I could go to my envelope three and my envelope three, I can shape like this. And then I could sign my envelope three to my rate here and then turn off BPM and let's adjust this rate. So now you can hear the rate of the laser starts from really fast to going slow. And then also the pitch of the laser goes from high to low. And I can also do the opposite. So now you have the laser going from a slow rate to a fast rate. So let's go ahead and just remove that for now. And I'll do BPM again and put it on 1 16th. So you could also put some noise on it. I could do like bright white and then assign my alpha one to the level here give it some white noise. I could go to my filter here. Let's do MG low 12 or let's do MG low six. And I could increase this resonance all the way up. And let's go ahead and assign my alpha one to the cutoff here. Hit shift option. Let me just go ahead and bypass this for now. So you can play around with a filter like that. Another thing I could do is I can take my alpha one and assign it to my level here. And so we can hear that the laser sounds a bit more staccato now when I assign it to my level. I can raise this up an octave, take it down an octave. I could go to my alpha two and I could assign my alpha two to my panning. I could change the rate. So maybe something like that sounds pretty cool. I could also go to my effects. I could add on phaser, flanger. We could do a chorus. You could add on some distortion. I could do a compressor, like a multiband. Make it a bit brighter sounding. I could do something like put on a reverb. And I could go to my LFO3 here. Let's go ahead and shape my LFO3 like this. And I'll do a rate of, let's say, one bar. And so I can assign my LFO3 to my mix here. 
and now I can hear that it starts to get this reverb ramp up. And I could also go on to add an EQ and do something like a low cut EQ. And I could sign my elbow three to this low cut EQ. And let's go ahead and just turn this on envelope. Maybe I don't even need that reverb. I could do something like that. That's a pretty cool sound. I could go to my distortion. Let's say on my distortion, I could do my alpha one here and assign this to the drive. And let's go to something that's a little bit harder. So that'll just make it sound a bit grittier. So another thing I could do, I could put on some delay. Let's do maybe like an eighth note delay. And then we can hear that the lasers delay out. So that might be cool for like a transition and I can put this back on. And that might be a cool sound for when you go into a drop. So basically you have so many options once you just understand that this laser sound is created from having the sound go from a high pitch to a low pitch really quickly. And then you can just play around with all these LFOs, assign them to different parameters and assign some of these envelopes to different parameters as well. I'll go ahead and put a link down below for you to grab a laser preset for free. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a like, and also please subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. And also, if you do wanna check out any of my Serum preset packs, I'll put links down below for those as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.